Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. Today I have a budget red dot review for you. Um, I was a little hesitant taking it on. I had uh, worked with this company one other time on a pistol case and I don't know, something struck me weird about this. I almost said no, but I sure am glad I said yes. And that is this Votadu, Vota2, V-O-T-A-T-U, PMD 504. This thing is a freaking wreck. And let's get into what I did to this thing. So to get some formalities out of the way, if you like this sort of content, hit that like, share, and subscribe, please. Uh, sharing is the best way to get the videos out there, to get the channel out there, and to get this sort of content in front of people that may not normally see it. After all, YouTube hides a bunch of my content from all of you. If you want to support the channel, you can become a member and or shop from my affiliates list. You can find my website down below, go to the shop page and shop through those links. Costs you nothing extra, but it absolutely helps out the channel a ton. And I thank you for it. Now, Vota2, Vota2 did send me two red dots, this one, two of these, and a thousand rounds of ammo. Now we're gonna get into why this thing is so banged up here in a second, but a little bit about the dot itself. Aluminum body, one by 22, so it's a 22 millimeter window. It's got a decent, even though it's cracked, I can still see through it, it's got a decent viewing window. Uh, nothing ma massive, but not small. So 22 millimeter viewing window. It's got nice soft touch up and down buttons on this side. It's got a battery tray on this side, so it's not a bottom mount battery. It does have a side tray, which I'll get into the tray here in a minute. It's got a water rating of IPX7. Uh, it is a one MOA click value, so that is one MOA at 100 yards, not that you're gonna be shooting at 100 yards anytime soon. Uh, the, the adjustments are very nice, they're not like you don't just roll through them not knowing where you're at there is a de defined click there um, on the top there is sort of a sight built into it which is kind of standard but it acts as a protector for that on the side there isn't one there's nothing uh, uh, built up around the around the uh, adjustment is an rmr footprint and it has 10 brightness settings now they have night vision settings as well but they don't say how many it is. I think it's three. I think it's seven daytime settings and three night vision settings. It's sort of hard to tell. Um, I think I get down to the eighth low, you know, clicking down to eight. Uh, I think I can still see it, but I don't think I can still see it. However, I was out with some people a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, a couple of weeks ago who was rocking some night vision on their helmet. And since I don't have that yet, any night vision sponsors out there want to take a gamble on the channel, it'd be awesome. I asked if I could check out one of their PBS 14s and look through this and it performed very well. Uh, I had it as low as it would get. It was nice. I took it one step up. It was still very nice. I took it a step up after that, started blooming a little bit. So uh, at least the bottom two, if not bottom three, are night vision settings. Its reticles are two MOA dot, a 62 MOA circle, or a 62 MOA circle dot. And you just go through that by pushing and holding one of the buttons. Um, I've been using it on the 62 MOA circle dot since I got it, very nice. It doesn't clutter up the window too much. Um, it's very crisp and has, I can't tell if it has any parallax, it's so little that I'm not seeing it with my eye. Um, so take that for what it is, but it seems to be very much parallax free and all the three settings are very crisp, very usable. Um, the daytime bright setting, the highest setting is very bright. Um, and again, night vision settings work very well. Now, while it doesn't protect from top strikes, you can see here that the hood sticks out a little bit, uh, protecting it from forward facing strikes, strikes that may hit the glass and crack the glass. And it worked out very well. 
So this one is plenty well beat up. You can see how mangled this thing is. But guess what? That sucker is still on. It is still on and I can still see the reticle. Not only that, but it's still zeroed. Now this is Shake Awake. Uh, it's got a 225 second, well, right around three minutes or so. Uh, time where it falls asleep and it comes awake very quickly uh, it would be i would think it'd be impossible to outrun it to when you grab it and get it up into view i would i would think it would be impossible to outrun it it's very it's very very fast so not only did this go through a thousand rounds without a hiccup not a single problem um, but i then put it through my standard durability test Check it out. <clears throat> Not bad. Didn't lose zero. Dug some of the table out. And much the same. And after the durability test, I had some fun with it. All right, let's have some fun. All right, that was a bad hit. I'm not a hockey player. Believe it or not, it's still working. Check it out. So it is, I don't know if you can see it in the daylight, but that is plenty banged up. The glass is cracked a little bit. Let's see if it held zero. Get some of the dirt out. Would you look at that? It's spread over a little bit, but I'll be damned if it's still not on. All right. I wiped it off, well not wiped it off, I poured half a bottle of water all over this just to get some of the dirt out and stuff. And it is still, let's see if, you can see that, still rocking and rolling. Tried to get some of the grit out of it. Woohoo, I saw glass fly. <laughs> All right, let's check that out. That is well 
more than I was expecting it to take and it is still on headshot headshot Look at that. Trying to see through all the cracks, but that is not bad. Let's go up and take a look at it. So there we go. This is after the two by four. This is after the plate drop. And that is still on. I know it's hard to see into the camera sometimes, but it is still rocking and rolling. After all, they did send me two of them. Uh, the other one works fine as well, uh, but they did send me two of them, and I thought this is a good time, good, good opportunity to just see how much this could actually take. And while again, while it's a little low right now, I was using it last night. Uh, while the glass is broken. I can clear I could still use this pretty easily pretty darn easily the circle dot is still very crisp in the window right up until I move my head and it gets up into the really broken stuff on the top so this little guy is pretty impressive uh, for for my two for my sample size of two uh, I, I I can't say anything bad about the performance or the durability now there is one thing that i'm a little concerned about i don't have a reason to be concerned yet like nothing's happened but for future use so the battery door does not have a screw does not have a lock nothing like that it is held in by an o-ring so it just kind of snaps into place it's got a 1632 battery in it um, and it just sort of snaps into place. I'm wondering, I don't know, but I, my fear is that over a period of time of using it, that, or if that O-ring accidentally gets ripped or something like that when taking this out or inserting it, if that drawer will stay in place. Again, I haven't had that issue, uh, dropping it, slamming it on the ground, hitting it with a two by four, dropping it on the steel plate it's not that it has popped open but the lack of security on that battery door is a little it's just a little worrisome so I would like to thank Vota2 for sending this out to me uh, so the two of them I'm going to obviously throw this one away um, pull the battery out but throw this one away and likely to put the other one back on this slide so I can use it for future shooting. Um, again, I'm pretty impressed with it. It's, it's uh, for function wise, durability wise, I have zero negative things. The glass is clear. It seems to have zero parallax, good to decent night vision settings. Uh, just an all around good red dot, especially at the budget price range that it is coming in at. Now, mind you, I don't make any money off of this. I have uh, no affiliation, no monetary affiliation. They just sent this out to me. Um, so this is my honest uh, opinion as always of this product. All right, thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Remember to hit all notifications if you want more videos from me. Remember the micro machine guy? Remember how fast he talked? If you don't know, you're not old enough to be watching this channel, I think. Again, you can support the channel by becoming a member. It's very inexpensive. You get members only previews. Uh, you get members only posts, things like that. And you can also shop through my affiliate links on my website, which is linked down below. And uh, costs you nothing extra, but it does help out the channel a ton. I appreciate everybody out there. You, you. You in the back there. Yeah, you. I appreciate you. You over there, yeah, I see you hiding. I appreciate you. You down here in the front, no, you've been making faces at me all day. I appreciate all you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later.